Hey, 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 what's up my fellow toy soldiers? It's Jal Horton here, the toy soldier. I'm about to do an unboxing and mild review video on this Goro figure. So I'm gonna take him out the box and we'll see how he looks. Mortal Kombat, it's not just a game anymore. Mortal Kombat action figures. Dumping everything out. Just looking to make sure I'm putting it in right. Is that flush? Here's Goro! Prince Goro. Wow. He's awesome. That's a big figure. Let's see. I am Goro, General of the Armies of Outworld, and Prince of the Subterranean Realm of Shokan. So to the top of his hair, maybe like 10 and a quarter inches? Awesome. All right. So, he's got good articulation. He's got a butterfly joint right up here where they belong. He's got a double jointed elbow, but it gets you 90. Big flex. Let's see what the other one can do. Big flex. Awesome. This bottom one here does not have a butterfly joint. It's just a regular uh, ball socket. Same with this one. That's an awesome figure. I'm not sure which head I should have on there. It has a growling head. Then his regular head. His back is painted nicely. I'll tell you what I don't like. Let's see. All right, he's got double hinged feet. I don't like these ankles. I may have to send them to someone fix those. Alright, here's a bit closer up of Goro. You can really see the paint application there. Between the texture and the coloring and the pattern, they did a pretty good job. You just kind of like angle them forward. See that? Angle it forward so the bicep matches up because if you twist it, you know, it kind of comes on, the pattern gets undone, but it's not a big deal. So the only thing I don't care for are his ankles. You don't get my, uh, it's more like a twist on a peg than actually a hinge in there. Yeah, it's like a peg, so. As far as standing them up and stuff, you can get them pretty, uh, pretty much easy to stand up, straight up. But if you wanted anything more, you know, as far as going into any type of uh, highly articulated stuff below the waist, I don't think it's gonna happen much.
Everyone remember the movie when he's getting all Rah! This puny mortal will be no Giant cage just up. Boop. I'll crush him in one blow. <gasps> all right. Oh! That's oh! All right, guys. So with him. Let's see if we can get him standing up. So just for a momentarily. All right, there we go. Let's see now. So, it looks like he has two different types of hands for each side. He's get he got has fists, a slightly closed type of hand, and then more of a like a relaxed or outreached hand, maybe just crush some heads. Then he comes with this other hair piece. This one goes straight down. This one flows back a little bit. And then he comes with these pieces. In the game, you know, he can launch his fists. So, here you go. All right, guys. All right, guys, I grabbed some figures to do some comparisons and sizes. So here he is with Scorpion. Here he is with a scroll giant man in a tech pose. And here he is with Lobo. And then a DCU Classics figure, Mr. Terrific. Goes right about to his waist, a little bit above. And then a couple Marvel Legends. We have Thor. And Vision. So, there you go, how he looks a bunch of, bunch of, and there you go, that's how he looks with a bunch of big guys, fellow toys. Alright guys, my final thoughts on Goro. He's an awesome figure, he really is. He only suffers for two bad things that I can tell. Number one, his ankles. They're very tough to get any type of a dynamic posing out of them. And even like if you want to stand straight up, he's more or less kind of like leaning forward a little bit because of his ankles. And two is his hair piece. It is just a little peg that fits in that little tiny hole. And it doesn't necessarily, I guess, you know, I won't be playing with him like I just was. But I guess it'll stay in there fine. I just don't care for it. It'd be cool if there was like a magnet on each end or something just to hold it in there. But... That's it. All right, guys, thanks for staying to the end of the video. It really helps me out a lot. All right, I guess we're just trying to get him to go straight up. He's good. Those are $500 sunglasses, asshole.